Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 8 of my Liverpool FC Career Mode. Now, just to start the episode here, I'm going to go over our squad report, and you also can see uh, our youth squad. So, um, or some youth people that we got from the English side. Uh, we got a great goalkeeper, and I think we might have got a, a centre-back as well. So, we do have a lot of good youngsters coming through, and in particular, the goalkeeper looks incredible. Um, I do have to say, though, uh, I know there isn't any restrictions or anything like football manager where, you, you know, or in real life where you could have a certain amount of English players in this game, but, you know, I would like to keep it semi-realistic. Um, I know it's not always going to be possible, but I like to try and get as many English players in as we can that without making the team um, too shit, but we've got a big game against Manchester City here. Now, I know City aren't the top side that they, they once were, at least on this game anyways, um, and they're not, the, they're not the hardest side to beat. But at the same time, you know, they should give us a bit of a challenge. Um, we've been in pretty poor form as of as of late. Well, pretty much the whole season, we just never really got going thus far. Um, you would think that we'd be able to get get it going eventually, but you know, you know, we're episode we're into episode eight of um, season two, and we still haven't really struck um, a bit of form. We've had a, a big win here and there, but never been able to string any along. But Jackson Martinez, he's going to go through. and He's going to score. And, you know, that was a great finish. Um, just but what we did there, just the, the trios um, together where you sort of had the change of direction. And it was just too much for the City defence. Uh, but moving on to the second half, a 1-0 lead going into half time. You know, I was very happy with that. And, you know, hopefully we can expand on that pretty quickly. We've got Coutinho on here, and we do expand on that. And 2-0 it is. Coutinho, he has a habit of scoring against um, Man City at important times. And just doubled the lead, uh, which is, you know, very good for us because... I do like to get that 2-0 um, lead, the 2-0 cushion, just just so we can, you know, stop it, um, stop the pressure and that sort of stuff. But then Sturridge ends up making it 3, and that was a game set match. There's no coming back from that. I don't think we've lost ever after being, or even drawn after being up 3-0, or at least a 3-0 lead. So, you know, there pretty much is no coming back from this. But Negredo, he's going to try his best, and, you know, it wasn't a great shot, but at least they were getting, they were getting some shots on target here, for sure. You can see here... Begovic made another great save. Um, he's made a fair few great saves of recent time. And I, I keep saying this every episode, but he's just been coming up with the goods after a shaky start. You know, he's been quite good. Another excellent save there. And that's not where it ends. He's going to cross back in here. Back post and off the crossbar. So unlucky about that. That wasn't Begovic's fault. There was no one's fault. Um, really should have been a goal for them. It still could be. But Dzeko, um, he has a great save. Sorry, his shot is saved by Begovic. And that was incredible. Going to the nice minute here. We're going to head it home. Oh, sorry, head it back, I should say. Negredo, whoever it was, and I thought I'd show that because I just showed Moreno doing some weird sort of bicycle kick to clear it. I mean, you didn't really need to, but a great all-round performance. Sturridge had a great game. Martinez had a pretty solid game. Moreno was pretty good. Begovic man the match, but now moving on to a little uh, email here, just saying that it's going to be international duty, and there was a lot of players from us that are in international uh, going to go on international duty. So it's good to see in one way the fact that like. A lot of our players are, are seen as, you know, they're rated so highly by everybody. But, you know, there is risk of injury. Seen Sturridge, he is pretty injury prone. Uh, although, in the two seasons that I've played, he has been injured that often. Although, he has been injured though. Um, coming up to a, against, a game against West Ham. It's a game at home. But I do have to say, West Ham, I believe, are one of my bogey sides. So, um, if we can get a result against them, that'd be very nice. But they got Carlton Cole, gets back to Zerate. Plays through the Nolan. And there's a goal. Um... At that stage, four, four minutes in, and to concede, I was thinking, oh shit, we are in trouble. And then they go on another attack here, Zarate, who's just, he's really good on FIFA, he always is. And um, I'm not sure what his, maybe he just stats, he's just quite quick, he's a pretty good dribbler, just a really good player. Sturridge blows an opportunity there, uh, I'm not going to hold against him because it was quite a difficult angle, but, you know, at the same time, would have been nice if he could have finished that. Uh, they have another chance here. They should just play through one of their plays. It's not who I thought it was going to go to, but uh, you know that's probably what was so good about that. Had they, you know, I, I try to sort of read the defense and that sort of stuff, and for the most part, it works. But uh, in the times where they just play some like random ass ball, you know that that's where the goals come from. Like I never expected that Nolan pass to actually come off, so didn't really worry me. Uh, but Begovic coming up with another nice save there. Um, you know, he's keeping us in the game, really. It'd been pretty much all West all West Ham, I've got to admit. Um, I'm not going to try and see and say I've got unlucky at this stage. They're going to go up 2-0. And, yeah, I'll like, just follow up what I'm saying. Like, I, I did, like, I haven't been unlucky. Just, I just haven't been good. Um, West Ham have been very good. I've been pretty poor. 
Uh, but Shakiri is going to do his best here. He's going to keep coming through here. Got to pass it across the face and goal to Martinez who hits it at the keeper. And that stage there, that one was a bit unlucky, i got to admit. Um, but at the same time, you know, we didn't deserve to win this one. And we're not going to, you wouldn't think. Uh, Daniel Sturridge had a late chance there to um, maybe get us, you know, a consolation goal. But wasn't meant to be. Just, you know, you can see we went all out attack. We were definitely were trying. Just wasn't coming off. Um, yeah, there's... Just wasn't much I could do. We even put a Ridgey on it right back. So, you know, we, we tried everything. Just We just couldn't get that goal. Moving on to the last game. And I think we really need to really need to win this game. Although we are in third or fourth. I can't remember which one it was. But I think we're in third. You know, but we're not particularly playing well. And I think that's just a credit to us that we're still getting some results while not playing well. But at the same time, I've said it many times through this episode, not being able to string along, um, you know, a win streak or something like that. It's just, um, it's not very good, not very good for the team, for the confidence in that. Um, and Aston Villa actually have quite a good side. Their striker, Burke, um, I think he's a glitched out player. Uh, I'm certain he is actually. But um, he, he seems to be killing it. Had a chance to sign in last year. I decided not. Um, although he would have probably been, you know, an okay signing would have been a nice one to see someone different and then everyone goes for. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just leave him. But he had one year left in his contract. But I think he's like 83 rated or something. Um, but yeah, seems pretty good. He's from Ireland. So, good on him. We're going to play a ball early through here to Sturridge. Um, and just the angle was a little bit too far off. It's just a little bit too hard. Although, a shot and target would have been nice. Uh, moving on to just before half time. We've got three extra minutes here. We're going to play a ball through to Shakiri here. And he should have enough pace. But he actually doesn't. Although, he does get brought down in the box. Now, this one, when it happened, I was like, what the hell was that for? Like... Really, what was it for? But the show here, Bakuna, um, he just grabs the shirt and ended up pushing him over. Now, I don't think he ever would have got to the ball, but that just shows like that was really dumb of Bakuna to do. And um, yeah, just it, it was really stupid. Guzan had that covered. Daniel Starry just put it straight down the middle, 1 0. Um, too easy. Um, in saying all that, I hadn't actually been playing very well, and I believe from this one, from this game, I had a little bit of a break in between games. and. I think at half time I felt a little bit lucky to be ahead because yeah like I said I hadn't played very well I hadn't played in a, in a little while and the fact that we're one up you know didn't really deserve it and even even that goal here Varane um, it's his second goal ironically um, similar uh, goal they scored before which was also from a header from a corner um, but yeah like I wasn't even controlling Varane it just happened um, and then looking for a third, oh, sorry, a second penalty here, third goal. Never came though. I, I couldn't believe that. Sturridge got, like, they gave the first one. I thought that was way worse than um, the first one. But then we finally pick up a third goal here. That was more of a a better goal for us in terms of, like, we actually deserved that that one. Just a nice little through ball. But they've got a chance here, ninth minute, looking for a consolation goal. We end up heading it, like, across the face of goal for some reason. And that was an absolutely incredible finish. Uh, I, th I think it was by Enzogbia, but. What a finish it was, but just dived with his left foot. Um, I, I couldn't believe it when I went in, but at the same time, like it didn't didn't influence the game at all. Just you know, got them a consolation goal. So you can see their performance. The same, we're going okay. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you could drop a like, you very much appreciate it. If you could subscribe to my channel, also very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, come back and watch my other videos. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Luke and YT is my handle. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next video, guys. Bye.